here's how to create custom walking and hiking trails on Apple Maps. Now, if you wanted to go for a walk or a hike somewhere and you wanted to know the exact topography, whether you're gonna go down or up, how long it is, and you wanted to save that in Apple Maps, I'll walk you through the entire process. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now let's head into your settings here because first we need to go, let me go back here, tap on general and software update. And you may need to make sure that you have iOS 18 or later. This is only a feature available in iOS 18. But after we've done that, let's open up the Apple Maps here and let's say we're gonna go to Asheville for the weekend. So I can zoom in and for instance, I want to take a hike from around the Biltmore house to the French Broad River. What I can do is I can tap and hold where I want to start and it says mark location. I'm gonna tap on the more and hit create custom route. Now it gives you this little animation at the very bottom, but basically all I need to do is select where I want this route to go. So I wanna go down to the French Broad River. So I'm gonna tap right there. Now, you'll be able to see this create custom route here. It says one and a half miles, and it is 25 feet going up and 262 feet going down. You can also choose the out and back. Basically, this means I'm gonna go from my start all the way out and then back as well. This increases it to three miles, and you can see 287 feet up and 287 feet down as I go from the Biltmore House to the French Broad River and back up. Now you can always save this and send it to someone else, or if this is a hike or trail that you really enjoy doing, you can always have it directly in your Apple Maps so that you can always go back, revisit it, and hike or walk on that same trail again. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.